today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a jib arm or a boom crane. Okay, what a jib arm is or a boom crane is, is a crane that you put your camera on so you get some serious fight above shot. Alright, um, things you're going to need, you're going to need some uh, aluminum pipe. You're also going to need some angle iron, some nuts and bolts, and uh, a few power tools, uh, a saw, a drill, and maybe uh, a socket set or so. Um, and you can make this as long and as tall as you want to. First thing I'm going to make this, uh, my jib arm is going to be 10 foot long. Anyway, I'm going to go through this uh, step by step. At the end of your jib arm, you're going to want to have uh, about two feet of it hanging off. Here's a two feet piece of pipe right here. This is going to be your handle. I've already drilled some holes in the end of it, enough to uh, fit this bolt right here. So I'm going to put this bolt in here and uh, we'll go from there. This is our end of the jib right here. This is going to be your handle. I'm also going to put another handle like this, that way you can hold it and put some counterweights on it. Probably about maybe 10, 15 pounds. Anyway, this is going to be the end of your jib. Um, you're going to actually going to have uh, two uh, pipes here that are going to be uh, two poles that are going to be 10 foot long a piece. Uh, I will mind. Uh, will. Go ahead and forewarn you that making a jib arm out of metal would probably be cheaper than making it out of wood, depending on your local hardware store's prices. I spent probably a total of maybe 30 bucks or so. Uh, angle iron, depending on where you get it from, it could be $10 a foot, which mine was 9 bucks a foot. Your angle iron, I'm going to use this angle iron. It's going to be the base. Uh, it's going to be your, your fulcrum and your base. I chose angle iron versus just flat uh, aluminum because angle iron is stronger and uh, pretty good on holes, so that's work for you. So here's your base right here. Uh, you can go with 10 inches, you can go with a foot. Foot works pretty good, gives you an extra two inches to play around with in case you don't like what you have. I'm sticking with a foot because that's how I paint. I ain't gonna cut it. So we're gonna uh, figure out where we want our deal here, and I would recommend whenever you run the bolt. Uh, through instead of just letting it you know, rub against the metal, put like some spacers or some uh, washers in between there. I'm gonna throw some washers on there that way I ain't got a jack with it. All right, you guys, uh, I got the fulcrum pretty much finished up here. I put some uh, spacers in between the bar here that way it wouldn't rub and make an awful grinding noise. Um, it's pretty secure, I uh, didn't have enough spacers, so I used a, a lug nut off of my uh, extra lug nut I had off my go kart. And then we put that nut and bolt in there, an extra spacer, and it works pretty good. It's nice and sturdy. And uh, once I add, uh, where I'm going to mount the tripod at right here, where I have my clip here holding it to my workbench, it should work out pretty good.